All right, hey, you guys, we're gonna check into the karmic really fast. Um, this this is your girl, the Empress 555, and I'm coming to you with another one. You already know Spirit is in the building, okay? And so, I just got a download to just check on the karmic energy. This is going to be a really quick read, um, I suppose, spirit. Okay. So, let's check. Karmic energy. Karmic energy, please and thank you, spirit. Give me, oh, please, Lord, no. Don't give me the karmic energy. Protect me from the karmic energy. And only angels of the highest white light are available here or can come here okay in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit give me clear and concise messages please on the karmic karmic energy karmic energy Okay. <clears throat> Believe it or not, the karmic is praying right now. Okay? The karmic is praying. She's trying to get wisdom from spirit right now. Because, or he's trying to get messages from spirit. Because of the lost and regret that they are, they are experiencing right now. They are feeling a lot of loss without the masculine being in their life right now. Um, the karmics are definitely watching the masculine right now because she is watching the masculine's money. She's praying that the masculine don't leave her out in the cold because of this money situation. The karmic really wants money from the masculine. Give me the, the higher fan. Yes, she's praying that this masculine still wants to work on this relationship with her. Um, but she's having she's having doubts because the rebirth isn't really happening. She wants to work on a partnership with the masculine because we have the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. It's all about money. It's no cups on here, okay? She wants to rebirth have a rebirth she wants to have something but the rebirth is not happening yeah the rebirth is not happening she's having problems with getting this rebirth because the family life is beginning to be a burden on her because now she's understanding she has to do everything on her own and it's a burden to her and so she keeps watching this masculine because she wants this masculine to offer her anything. She wants a new stable beginning with this masculine. She wants this, but she's coming in a childlike energy, giving this person all kinds of uh, conflict and confusion. And it's only because she's not getting the rebirth. She's not getting it, okay? With the five of cups and the sun here, she's not getting it. So she's praying that this masculine is, she's wising enough that this masculine is really working hard on a rebirth um, with the person that he's been watching, with the person of, of regret. And so she's stuck in her head right now because she knows that it's a, like a lost opportunity for her. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ending. Eight of Swords with the um, death card. It's an ending to the masculine being stuck in, in his feelings about this situation, stuck in his mind about this situation. She no longer has a hold on the masculine the way she wants to have a hold on the masculine, okay? Karmic energy. Yeah, four of pentacles. Now she knows she needs to hold on to every dime she has because this masculine has moved forward. And that is putting her, she's having nightmares and, and oh, all kind of fives on here, y'all fives nines and tens okay that to me that is like all across the board and no cups y'all four of cups is the only cups on here
she's she's trying to move on but she knows this masculine has moved on and she she's 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 having nightmares about this confusion about it she doesn't understand why she's very stuck right now her plans are stuck her plans the plans that she had to marry the masculine be in a family with the masculine um, be financially stable with the masculine all those plans have come to an end because this masculine has you know told the truth told her the truth or told him the truth and so now this person um yeah told her the truth that she that he he or, he or she is about to start a new passionate beginning and this person has been withholding sex from her and everything and so now she's trying to communicate with this person trying to see if they can have a happy beginning or see can she make this person happy again sexually but this person has left eight of cups this person has left out the building totally this person made a decision to do what they needed to do for them. This person has made a decision that they, they're not going to juggle this person with this person anymore. With the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, this person has made a... The masculine has made a decision that they're not going to... They're not going to... They're ending things with the karmic. Yeah. And they did it in a harsh way because this karmic was still trying to hold this person up okay trying to hold this person up keep them stagnant but this person balanced themselves out by cutting her out yeah because at the end of the day this person is still acting like a child and they still have toxic energy they still want to juggle other people and do what they want to do too but that's not what the masculine is about the, the masculine is about having an honest relationship right now And she knows that this person is going toward somebody that they really care about, that they were separated from, and it was faded. She knows this because she went to a high priestess, and she tried to take this person away from you, but she ended up um, getting blocked from this person, and this person took themselves away from her or him. So now she has no money, okay? And judgment is upon her back right now for her stable beginning. Judgment is on her back right now. She's aware that the stable beginning has been tarnished completely with the tower moment because of her options and choices that she made with black magic. She's aware of this now, that the king of swords is going for what he wants now. She's aware that he's going back to the past of somebody who... A cycle ended with them, but made them made you and your masculine stronger. Yeah, so this person is single right now, trying to work on their money and the the, the karmic. Really, she's trying to throw black magic, but she can't do it because she's worried about her finances right now. She's worried about she can't even go pay anybody right now to do black magic. She's really worried about finances. Tell me the feelings that this karmic has toward the collective she feels like you're successful you won you you got the victory out of the whole deal she feels like that you're getting sex from the masculine now she also feels like you're going to have a new beginning from uh with the masculine now and she feels like that you're in hiding too both of y'all hiding and she can't figure y'all out right now and that's why she feels like y'all are together right now and i sense that you all aren't even together i sense that you and your masculine are trying to take care of business on y'all end so y'all can come together but you're not really together right now um the hermit with the knight of pentacles she feels like um you've been in the cut for a long time uh preparing for your victory and she she's definitely yeah she's definitely throwing black magic on you guys for you all to be separated every day yeah but the will of fortune is the has come in the building and has blocked it the will of fortune is her karma she came in the building and she got blocked yeah, she's all options and choices are blocked. She can't block it anymore because this is this is 
is fading. It's fading for you all to be together. But she's still trying to have faith by using black magic and going to high priestesses, but she doesn't have the money to pay for it. So these high priestesses are going to either turn her around or what they're going to do is um, they're going to they gonna do something strange, but it ain't going to be something that's going to work for her, okay? So that's all I have for the karmic energy, you guys. And I'll be back with another one. I appreciate you guys. I love you. Peace.